Hello Scorpios, how are you doing? Welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for all your loyalty, all your dedication and everything that you have given to me. So Scorpio, tell me in the comments what you think about this reading and, and how you feel, okay? So let's get into it. Alright, so for our dear Scorpios, angel guides and spirits, please bring in the reading for Scorpios and what they need to know. We're going to look for the first overall energy. We're going to read your energy, Scorpio, and then your person's reading, okay? All right, let me try that again because these two kind of came out together. I need one overall energy, please. Here we go. All right, the full card is there for you, Scorpio. So let's see what that full card will mean. You're wanting to take a new adventure, a new uh, something new, something to take a chance on yourself or a new opportunity, um, and just kind of, you know, taking a new journey for yourself. So let's see what that's going to connect to with your energy here. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay, so I hope that you can see that in the frame. Um, you hear you have the seven of uh, pentacles. There's something definitely here that you're, like I said, you want to take a new journey, a new pathway. Um, could be working on yourself and just kind of focusing mo mostly on you right now. So let's get two more cards. Okay, well, that came out with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Okay, Scorpio, um, in this reading, just please keep an open mind and things could change, but just kind of read the cards as they come out the way I interpret the cards with my own intuition feelings, okay? All right, so these two here, when I look at those two, the Seven of Pentacles and the Fool card there, I'm seeing that you are reflecting. You are doing some heavy thinking. You are trying to figure out where to, what direction you want to go in your life. But with the juggling card here, you're kind of in between things. It's kind of like, you know, um, I don't know why I get a sense of fear factor here. Because it's like, you know, do you, for example, move into another state? You might say, how am I going to move to another state? Or do I leave this relationship? Do I put this behind? Do I do this? Do I do that? And you're kind of in between your own thoughts. And I feel like here, Scorpio, you are holding your own self back from doing what is best for you. You're holding yourself back for some reason, you know. It's kind of like you want to do it, but you're not really quite sure how to. Maybe that's the possibility, but we'll see more into it. The Emperor card is here showing there's a sense of control, a sense of taking part. And with your energy here, I feel like this is more you became more destined to your own life. You are taking charge of your own life. You are not allowing any kind of pain or anything to kind of that hurt you in the past to bother you anymore. So I think this is a good awakening. It's like a spiritual awakening that you have. You're coming to your reasonable to yourself that you know you understand now what life's all about. You have a purpose. You want to do what's best for you and you only, and until you meet the right person. And so, and that's good because you're fulfilling your own needs to yourself, okay? So, that's good that you're working on yourself, Scorpio, that you're seeing yourself, you're valuing yourself, you're seeing that you're good enough for anyone or anything. So, if there's a job job opportunity out there that you're wanting, try it, Scorpio. What do you have to lose, right? If you're not happy where you live, move. This is talking about taking your own power and using it to your advantage because you went through a lot of struggles here. Things that kept you up all night. Things, you know, a lot of lost sleep. Things that bothered you. But now, Scorpio, you are in your own power. Okay, so let's see um, for that. So I hope that you understand. I'm going to move this down. I hope that, you, that resonated for you and, and helping you on your journey of becoming better in your own self. So let's see for your person here or what comes next. I say person, but sometimes it could be connected to more of you. Okay. I'll move my little angel over here. <laughs> so um, let me get some more cards. This is coming out um, straight 
you know, but I'm going to put it in that bright so that, you know, we'll take a look at something here in both directions when that happens. Okay, strength card is here. Okay, um, give me a second. Let me think about this. I think this is still your power here. This is still your energy. Um, usually, sometimes, mostly, it shows up somebody else, but this is more for you, Scorpio, because as I said, when I left off on this card here, um, you have things that kept you waiting. You're not no longer, it's not affecting you anymore. Now, there are some parts of you that are still in a cloud sense of you are feeling, you know, you're, you're thinking about things that happened to you in the past, but you're, you're really, it's making me feel like you don't even care anymore. The Justice card, you feel like you're serving yourself, to, and you look back and you think about that you're glad these things happen now. Am I hearing that right? You are glad that these this person left or this this situation ended or you left that job or it's it's in that energy where you feel like you're doing what's best for you and the ten of pentacles is talking about Scorpio you don't and I feel like you have opened a new doorway to your life because the overall energy the full card I keep going back to that this is a commitment to yourself that you're never going to struggle like this again and. That you're putting all your energy into yourself. And if you're not, that's something, if I reverse that Ten of Pentacles, um, that means you still have not got to a place where you are not there yet. So, as I said, the card came out straight. And if I reverse it, you know, in the, the reverse, that you still got some work to do. So, whatever, whoever that resonates for... Think about it. Which one of that setting of this card is meant for you? Is it meant for you that you're 100% committed to yourself, that you're, you learn your lessons, or you are glad that situation ended, that you're glad that you got out of that mess? Because the reason I feel like it's more in the upright, because the strength card is here and saying, you know, you're staying strong through yourself. Yes. Okay. And the Page of Cups is here about... Um, I, I know this sounds strange, but it's almost like you're apologizing to yourself. That you apologize and that you apologize to yourself for putting yourself through that. But at the same time, you're being strong here, in control of your own destiny, in control of your own power to love yourself more than you have ever loved yourself. That nothing will defeat you, Scorpio. And the things that the obstacles that got in your way that you had to go through was just a broken road for you to get to something better. And that's what that full card is talking about because your power is here, your commitment to yourself, the, the justice that you're serving to yourself. That nothing is going to be, is not going to come in your life if they can't serve you, if it's not good for you. So here, you could be going to the mirror and saying to yourself, I apologize for allowing that person to do the things I did. I'm, I'm sorry for apologi uh, apologizing to myself for losing time with. And not put myself in that situation ever again. And once you see it, you know what you have to do. You have to cut it off, right? Alright, so that's what I have for this reading. So let's go into the next read. And this is all about you standing on your own. In your own power to becoming something much better than you ever imagined, Scorpio. So let's see what happens in the uh, current energies. In the past, current, and future energies, okay? So let's see. Okay, so we're going to look here. There's something kind of like what you need to learn from. Because that energy was about, see how that kind of came out? But I'm going to put it in the upright uh, because I see that Knight of Pentacles. But this is your uh, past energy. That what you're working on to, to gain. The 
what you had to learn. This is what you're learning part, okay? And I'm going to push it back up when I'm done. But just to kind of bring it closer to you, the, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So you can see that the Pentacles energy here is the Knight of Pentacles is saying, you know, we always say this is a slow moving knot. It took you, Scorpio, um, to realize your own worth here. It took you time because you were in a cycle of this um, energy, and I think I saw it on the bottom of this deck. Yes, the Wheel of Fortune. You were in the cycle that was not working for you. And you had. To, it took you time to kind of snap out of it or get... Maybe you were trauma bonded or you were in this energy of um, not focused on yourself. And that's what the Knight of Pentacles here is talking about in this situation. So the Knight is that you lost focus of yourself. You lost your identity. You lost the strength of who you were. And the Queen of Wands, because the Queen of Wands is about making that change, standing up, passion. You kind of had to find your way back to who you really are. And the Queen of Pentacles here is saying, you now are saying to yourself, you had the power all along. It's kind of like in the Wizard of Oz. You always had the power to go home kind of thing, you know. Uh, but you always had the power. and But you lost it in the side of you for someone else, okay. So let's see if the, so that is what happened with the person that you were with or whatever situation. It could have been a job. Um, and now it's about finding your own worth, about really going for your dream, Scorpio, to find out what is it in life is your purpose? What is it in your life to be what you want to make your life the best that it can be? Okay. It took you time, but you're getting there, right? You're starting to realize your worth here. And your empowerment of yourself. See, there's the um, Four of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles energy here. The Ace of Cups. This is your current energy. Yeah. Alright, this is your current energy. Your current energy says right now for you is that you are holding on since you've learned about the value to yourself, you're holding on to that. And you're not going to let that go again, Scorpio. You have fallen deeply in love with yourself. You have accepted yourself for who you are. You finally came to realize that this is who you are. When your cup is full of love, no one can stop you, Scorpio. The best things will come to you when that cup for yourself is full, okay? And if not, you know, the Knight of Swords I think here is talking about you leaving and running away from things that was not good for you, right? And you, and you still may have some fear-based things that you might have to work with. Um, that you're trying to get to something that you are searching for. What is that, Scorpio? What is it that you're searching for on the Knight of Swords? What is Scorpio searching for in the Knight of Swords? Tell me and the... See what the Knight of Swords is saying. What is that current energy for your Knight of Swords? Yeah. Scorpio, you're running after your own happiness. Okay. And that's what you should do. You have one life to live. Life is short. Life is beautiful with the right people. Alright, let's see what's, what's going to be your upcoming. Well, there's two of cups. This is your upcoming. There's somebody who's wanting to see you again. Or you're going to join hands with. Could be from a different race, different country, different city. But somebody is going to be magically... Oh, gosh. Could it get any better? Look at that. Two of Cups. Because you've learned to love yourself, Scorpio, the person that you want is going to come to you. But you have to fill that cup. And I think when these life changes took place, you are going to realize that. Because people are going to see the beauty in you. You are the empress. You're part of a person to find in this world. You're one of a kind to yourself. And they, somebody's going to be talking to you, com quick communications with you. Okay? And it's going to be fast. It's going to be somebody that you didn't even expect to come out of the woodwork on you. Like, now this could also mean Two of Cups is joining a company, you know, that you really love. 
But whatever it is, it's going to make your world a better place. It's going to make your life better. Let's see, the Eight of Wands. I just want to clarify that. What is this Eight of Wands about? The Eight of Wands. See? Nine of Pentacles. Loving yourself. Being independent, happily, and successful is what you're after. You're happy after. This is a fairy tale that came true. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. You have the temperance. You're sca you make sure, I'm sitting here with the questions, is that make sure that you are following your intuition strongly. You might be out of tune to yourself still a little bit, Scorpio, but that's the vice, okay? That's the vice I have for you is to make sure you keep your identity, stay in touch with your true, authentic self. So the temperance return to your authentic self. Be truly, and I mean this wholeheartedly, be honest to yourself. Do not settle for less. Do not allow something to come into your life that is not, if you feel with that intuition that's not right for you, with the temperance, find that balance, okay? The harmony, that peace to yourself. You might not have the exact peace yet. So, but once you do have that, all these things are going to come in place. So I can see here the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. You can only fill your cup with love to yourself. And then you're able to give it to someone else. When you truly, you know, the saying goes, you can't love someone until you love yourself. And when you're able to love yourself and truly love yourself as your authentic self, this is when you attract the people from other places that you don't even know yet, that you never met, that's going to come in your life because that's their cup of love is full too. And the problems that we have in life is that we get into situations half-hearted. Our cup is not full. And so this is how we attract these toxic, narcissistic people because we have not learned to live for ourselves and be our authentic self. So you've got to remove your excuses for about yourself, okay? Whatever it is. It could be, you know, we can always blame other people. And that's, that's in one way. But what does that do for us as people? We have to become better within ourselves. We have to say we are the empress. The empress means... In our being of who we are, we, we become the best that we can be. So, therefore, our cups are full. Our tour cup, we attract the right type of people. Fast things start happening like at a snap. And then you wonder, wow, how did all this happen? Then you're not a pinnacles, the not a cups. Financially, independence, independent happiness. When you finally truly find yourself, everything comes together like a puzzle. And balance, your balance will be, will come, the universe will just bring everything in full circle for you. But this is the lessons of life that people most miss. They walk around, most people don't love themselves, Scorpio. So we find these broken people thinking we can fix them. No, they have to work on themselves, just like you do. So Scorpio, this is a very beautiful reading. So I hope that you take some time to reflect on your understanding finding your truth you know finding your truth and love to yourself hold on to that keep it forever and this is what you're going to get okay that that is like the angels are saying that as a promise to you this is when you find that full happiness because sometimes we're searching in other people to make us happy and be love when in the first place we didn't love or be happy with ourselves. So this is what it's talking about. So make sure to reflect on this reading, Scorpio. It's something you need to hear. I hope so. I hope this has helped you understand more about yourself, guiding you to a better place in life, your journey, like the Fool's card. Going into that place where, you know, I am doing me. I'm happy. I'm loved. I, I love myself. I can do anything I want to. I have my freedom, I have my energy, I have my happiness, I have my, you know, finances, whatever. You get all those things in order. But don't have it with an attitude. Because I do see some of you here carried a hurtful attitude, maybe from your childhood, into, from your past relationships. And it did, this is what's stopping you. This is why it became so slow, so stagnant. 
a Scorpio, when you really realize inside yourself and become that true being, your true soul light, when it shines so bright to everyone else will see it, and no one, you're, you will be a full force and happiness and financially love, all that will come together. The puzzle parts will fit. But you are the Empress, and don't forget that. So you have to decide for yourself at this moment. Do I love myself? Do I really love myself to be alone? Do I love myself to be in my own company? Do I love myself to say I can take care of myself independently and be happy without no one? If you're able to say that and do it, then that is when you're going to attract the right person into your life. That is when you're going to start seeing your changes in the universe change for you. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this resonated for you. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about it. Um, if this made you feel empowered, I want to hear that in the comments. Give me some likes on, and also um, take care of yourself. Love you, Scorpio. And take, stay authentically true to yourself, okay? Don't forget who you are. You are the Empress. You just didn't know it. you got to feel it and own it, okay? Thank you, Scorpio. Take care. Bye-bye.